Hello once again, people, and welcome to yet another episode of the Doom p -Wad Playthrough! So I'm your Death Stalker, and today we're going to be checking out a level known as QWERTY! Yeah, I'm not, not sure why on earth he decided to name it that, but of course QWERTY is the keyboard, the letterings, and whatnot. <laughs> um, now the question is, why? Um, there's no read me any documentation or anything like that with this level. I, I don't like have any info whatsoever. So I'm just gonna load up the P-Wad, play it, and we'll see what exactly there is to see. Do what there is to do, and shoot whatever there is to shoot. There'll be lots of things to shoot. Okay, so let's load this thing up. Um, hey. Uh, you who Up here? There we are. You know, one thing uh, uh, yo, that I never noticed was that actually when Doom loads up, there's a Kaka Demon up here. I don't think I've ever realized that there was one. <laughs> uh, sadly, you guys can't see it right now. What level actually am I loading up? I, I, I didn't even pay attention to that. Let's see here. Mainly because it didn't say anything. E3M9, okay. What a weird level to replace. Unless it's a modified level. Is, is it a modified level? Maybe. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, 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 joking, right? Not this again. Oh, great. So we got something like how E2M1 was back a while back. I think it was E2M1A was like this. You've got to be kidding me. Well, enjoy, people. Wait, is this a new level? Wait, what? What? Uh, you hear that elevator? What's going on? Okay. Now I can play the music. <laughs> I was going crazy for a minute. What is this, like widescreen version with super dark areas? It's like another widescreen level. We played widescreen not too long ago and now we have it again. Oh look. I like Krakow on Jerry Ammo. You know, I probably should have saved that for the Kek Demons out. Well, see some extra demons this time around. I love how like these rockets are flooding into trees. Is there anyone else among this forest of hell? I heard him. I heard the guy growling. I see him. He's over there. Ooh, I think I see a gun or something. Maybe it's just flat himself, but I don't know. Let's get over there and find out. He just died. Yes, a plasma gun. That could be pretty useful. We're now more overpowered than we should be in E3M1. Or E3M9, whichever one you wish you want to call this. They're essentially the same thing, as always, so... Yeah. Ooh, look, lots of power-ups. Hooray, we're getting ready to kill the overpowered. Look like there's anything else. There's trees. You guys like trees? Look at the trees, man. All these trees. And do. Okay, let's, let's actually open this thing. Hi there. I expect to find you there. Really, because why wouldn't I? Now, of course, because we got the invisibility, we're gonna have to play. Don't get hit by the invisible dude. Well, I'm the invisible dude. I want to get hit by the invisible dude. And still get hit by the projectiles, which can go really anywhere. Okay, so there we are. Two dead caca demons. We doing good? So far, so good. Is it just gonna be like the same enemies? Is it just like a different perspective? Works for me! Ooh, a chain gun. Just as I needed to get more overpowered. Now, one thing I've been curious about. Actually, first of all, I need to go back down here and open this up. That way, this is open. Then I come this way and see what happens if I follow this around. <laughs> Nothing. Well, that hurt. I had, I had curiosity. I had, I had to figure that out. I had to figure out there was something over there. The answer is just nothing. Amazing discovery. This, people, is why you should never question anything. Question things just leads to disappointment. Remember, people, 
question that thinks is bad. This has been paid for by the National Communist Community and the fastest resume of the UAC. Yeah, the UAC has got fastest on us. Okay, so uh, so far so good. So far it feels very normal. I I'm anticipating like something to happen. So far it's not happening. After that first dark room, I was expected to be a totally dark level. Then it turned out not to be. And now it's just getting very plain. Please don't tell me I was the Italian modification. That and giving me more powerful guns than I should have. I, mean, I forget what guns I was even given. I mean, this is E3M9, not E3M1. You kind of need more powerful guns for this one because of... What happens at the end? Yo, know, because I'm assuming this is gonna have the Cyber Demon fight. Well, let's kill everyone here and see what happens. Make all the corpses fly. Make all the bodies die. Oh yeah, a rocket launcher. Just as I needed. Oh god, the Baron! There's a Baron! And he's angry! He's peeved! He's right there! It's a Baron! I think this is where a plasma gun will come in handy. I even hit him. I know if I hit him with both those shots. I can't really use the rocket launcher, it's too close quarters. Okay, there we are! He's dead! Cyber Demon fight! Bring it, punk! We're waiting for this day. You and me, mano y mano, stream deluxe turkey club sandwich. I have no idea what I'm talking about. An epic battle of epic proportions. Me versus the big tall rocket launcher wielding maniac. He's homicidal, somebody. I see this. Oh! Well, I got hit. Get wrecked, punk. Sass! Sass! Why did I just write Sass? I don't know why I hit talk so many times. I really should unbind that key. I, who am I even talking to? Like, literally, who am I even talking to that I have that? Yeah, I, I randomly am always talking to people I doom. Use it myself. Use it says. Use the boy! You know, it would have been probably smart to pick up the vulnerability, but... Nobody ever said I had the smartest of ideas in this game. There we are! Kill the guy! I killed the guy! It's pretty exhilarating, until I realized... I think one idea is not to pick up that invisibility. It's a good strategy, I like it a lot. Not picking up the invisibility shall lead to a world filled with not too much pain. An epic battle. You know, I really should stop walking into his shots. It might help the situation somewhat. Just say it somewhat. But just dance with him. Come on. Dance, buddy. You don't have the funk it takes to dance, right? You can't dance properly. You don't have what it takes. Yeah. So okay. Now we pick up this thing. I'm a spooky ghosty dude. Boom. I terrified you. Okay, what's in here? Oh yeah, kick the demon. Say cheese! That works! I even saved the shot! Okay, one more room. A Baron! More excessive rockets are needed! Okay, you know what? I should get those, that vulnerability to cross here without taking damage. Okay, time to get across! 
Like I said, it's still not as sexy the most drastic of changes yet. I wonder if it's gonna change like later or what's going on. But in any event, right now it's still just mostly a pistol start of E for them three. Needless to say, not the most interesting thing. You know, in the long run. I mean like when you have the option between new custom levels and E1M3, I mean E3M3, E3M9 again, which one am I going to choose? I don't know why I kept saying E3M3 by the way. Let's just keep punching things. That usually solves my problems. My mom always told me whenever I had a problem, I do dare punch it in the face. Usually it seems to help things. Okay, here's the chainsaw. Yo, because that totally belongs on Mars base. Ow! You owe me for that shot. How much do you owe me? About tree pity. I need about tree pity. Okay. Now we get this little bit of health. Is there anything back here to kill me, or is it just gonna be the normal? It's just gonna be the normal. Except for an extra Baron. That's really what this has become. E3M3 with a couple more Barons. Why do I keep saying E3M3? E3M9 with a couple more Barons. Because, you know, a few Barons is totally the difference between hard and easy. Right? This is what Doom veterans need. Like, two, three more Barons. Yeah. Most epic version ever! E3M9 has never been this hard! Well, we got a cousin Carnage. Oh, they give me another vulnerability spear, too! Okay, they made it even more overpowered for me than normal. I do appreciate that game. Oh look! Soul Seers! Why I'm not really sure. They, but they gave me two of them. Any more? Another one! Another one! How, how many can you give me? Why are you giving me so many? There were, there's ones over there too! Really? I wonder if some are stuck in the walls or something. No, here's some over here. Okay. This is really getting old very quickly. How many soul seeds can you give me? There's only a couple enemies left. And they're the enemies you probably predict they are. So why are you giving me this many soul seeds that the original level didn't do this to me? This is kind of demeaning at this point. Okay. Well, they gave me a stuff. Time to use it. Say cheese! You know, I could have had some difficult challenges. Instead, I got a lot of ridiculous power-ups. It's like, I couldn't beat the normal version of E3M9, so I created this version, so I could beat it. Now I feel good about myself. That, that's literally what this feels like. It, it's like, like, what, what actually did he do? This was like E3M9 with a couple things to make it easier. But who wants it easier? Wait, what? What am I doing? Okay, you guys think don't press this, otherwise you just open and close the door. Here we are! That's it. Brilliant! Well, that was pointless. So! Yeah! <laughs> anyway, thank you very much all for this pointless excursion. I'm not really sure why in God's name I did this. It, it feels like it was just E3M9, like I said, with a couple extra barons, like two, three more barons, and a bunch of extra power-ups that really imbalanced the entire thing. Like, really, look at the number of soul spheres we got. Who in God's name goes through all those soul spheres? There, there was, like, nothing to justify it. We got third in vulnerability. 
Like, wh where did we even... Where would we even use all this? Yo, it, it feels like it made the level ridiculously easy. That's all it did. <laughs> it, it didn't accomplish anything besides that, I feel. So, yeah. Hooray for a totally underwhelming, pretty boring version of E3M9. Thank you very much all for watching. It's been very, very pointless, and I shall see you all next time.